study, we're going to take a look at the crucifix neck crank and full stocks position. In a previous study, we looked at the cow catcher, which is a wrestling pin, takedown, or throw set up from the front headlock with a chin strap grip and an underhook, which you use to turn your opponent. We also looked at the submission option from the cow catcher with the one-handed guillotine. But what if you remove the chin strap grip and feed it through for an underhook of its own? We can see the legendary Kazushi Sakuraba do just that here, locking up the full stocks or crucifix position from front headlock, enabling him to deliver some unanswered knees from that position. With the head trapped underneath an armpit and two underhooks, it gives you an extraordinary amount of control over the spine and alignment of the opponent. This position is often called a reverse full Nelson, but that's set up with two overhooks as you see here, and you'll note the distinguishing feature of the hands being on the back of the head. This crucifix can be combined with the cow catcher, as you see Ben Askren do it here as he removed the chin strap hand on the cow catcher, joining his hands together and locking up the position to finish the takedown, landing in mount. But you can also go for submissions from here once it hits the mat, as Jerry Bolander uses it to turn and then sits out, finishing a neck crank on his opponent. And the great Gary Goodridge also does the same here, as he locks up the position, uses it to turn and finish the takedown, landing in side control, and then getting the submission. Neck cranks are obviously a pretty brutal way to submit someone, and with the right pressure, this can also be achieved from full mount. But even without the neck crank submission, this crucifix gives you a lot of control over the opponent as you're misaligning their spine and breaking their posture, which is one of the fundamental concepts of grappling. Eddie Alvarez spent almost two minutes trapped in this position in an MMA fight before finally getting free. And if you remember back to our cow catcher study, we briefly mentioned how that position can be used to pass guard. Here's a few more examples of that where you can see Jake Shields pass the guard with the cow catcher being the chin strap and the underhook grip. And here's another example from Joseph Benavidez as he uses the cow catcher grip to pass the half guard of Tim Elliott, eventually making his way to mount. And the crucifix can be used in the exact same manner as we see Rani Yaha set it up here from top half guard as his opponent looked to sit up. He then moved himself back deliberately into a leg drag position, which he used to ride the legs and tire out his opponent, throwing some undefended knees along the way, and holding the position for a shocking three minutes before eventually finishing the pass. Being able to hold an opponent in that lock for three minutes is a good example of the power of this hold. And we can see another example here in an MMA fight. So when the opponent looks to sit up, he moves into a crucifix or full stocks position before eventually getting the guard pass and then sitting out from side control to win with a submission via neck crank. And to further show the versatility of the move, here it is being locked up from the bottom and used as a sweep to get on top and then held onto while passing the guard and finishing in full mount. And while the neck crank is obviously a rough move, you'll find that this particular one is banned in almost all grappling competitions except for MMA. So use it with care if you dare try it. If you'd like to watch another breakdown on a similar position, check out my previous one on the cow catcher or the one on the stockade position, which is set up from side control. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment what you'd like to see and thank you.